Satnam, Satnam. We are in the final degrees of Gemini and the summer solstice is coming. The summer solstice, the biggest day of the year. This is when Papa's sun shines his longest. And it also means this is the beginning of his descent, right? The longest day leads to getting shorter and shorter. But right now, our solar logos is just pumping, not just sunlight, not just going into cancer, not just that, but we are in a cycle of gamma rays that come about every 2,020, 2,200 to 400 years. It's when the solar logos goes, oh my gosh, my children, my children, you need some more love because y'all need to wake the mm up, right? And it's interesting, it's, you know, God is good. Solar, uh, summer solstice is the first day of cancer. And cancer is the divine feminine, right? So it's like, when that happens, the zero degree cancer energy holds the papa and says, come here, my love. Come here, Let's sh let me hold you and worship you and love you as you shine the brightest day. And let me comfort you as you go towards your rest, right? As you go towards your rest. What an amazing summer solstice this is gonna be. Tomorrow we will be already heading into the first degree of cancer. And that means we're gonna be right there with the full moon. Our full moon is at one degree. So full moons always are the opposition. So it's interesting because Capricorn is also feminine energy, um, but it's ruled by Saturn. So it's kind of like the no nonsense lioness, right? Capricorn wants to build, wants to succeed. You know, a part of the problem with America has been our over Capricorn, over emphasis on money, over emphasis. But in its purity, it is the great protector. It is the part of us that wants to use our spiritual wisdom, use that Saturn, because Saturn is disciplined, right? It does sudden every day. It, it builds a kingdom so that it can share. There is something about this summer solstice that I love in that it as, as big as the brightest Sunday, right? And as big as the Capricorn full moon, there's a softness to it. There's something soft. There's something soft about the full moon that is almost a new beginning. You know, can we look, can we look at our worth in a different way? I know if you're even watching this or listening to this, you have already done so much work on yourself. And what a lot of us are feeling is the final tweak that has to be made. And when we acknowledge it, then the doubt ramps up because, you know, if you're like me, I'm 58 years old. So there's a few tweaks that I promised I was going to eat better. Like I eat pretty good, but like it has to be way better. <laughs> That's just my thing. Um, so the doubt. So maybe you've been wanting the love of your life or maybe financial security. There's, oh, you know, God uses the missing thing to create enough desire because it's not just in getting what you want. It's the journey there where a divine mom's going to teach you so much, going to heal you so much. So this idea of something just out of your reach is really being addressed at the summer solstice. And so at Great Divine Flow, we want to address that with you. We're actually going to chant a purdy that lifts up our virtue so that we can attain that which has been out of reach. And in that attainment, we become more expansive in our aura, right? And we are able to not only benefit, but share, share. We, and when we do a meditation together, so normally my little aura is like nine feet wide, so is yours, nine feet in every direction. Whoa. But when we do things as a group, y'all, our auric field gets like up to 100 feet. We need this kind of projection and protection in the world that we're living in, and I want to be a part of that with you. So you don't have to be in Vista. If you want to come live, you can, but you can come on Zoom, and if the timing, you know, like time frame is two 
out there, then what you do is you just sign up and then you'll get the recording and you will get this love boat. Every day for 40 days, you will get a message about where the cosmos are, what your sadhana is doing, what is the deep meaning behind all this. All of this is going to be a part of your experience to so sign up. If you just don't care or you're not going to do it, make sure you honor you tomorrow. And, that, and really get honest and pray about what needs to heal and what has felt impossible. Part of our 40-day sadhana is going to be using this word hariyang, 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 which means destroyer. So we are going to actively destroy our fear around being able to attain. Okay? We're going to obliterate our doubt. And we're going to do it together. I love you so much. Happy, happy summer solstice. Um... I'll get more into this, but the beginning of cancer season can be a little sensitive because the first 10 degrees, the soul kind of brings stuff up from the childhood that you are ready to learn from and graduate and heal. So I'll be, I'll be talking to you about that next week. In the meantime, happy summer solstice. So much love to you from me, Mahan Raj Kar, and the Great Divine Flow. I hope you sign up. The link is in the bio for the summer solstice activation and the beginning of 40 days of meditation. And we don't have to, we're not like together. <laughs> People go, are we supposed to be together? No, no. We're going to offer like four times a week a Zoom where you could be with people or in studio. But ideally, like my sadhana is at 5 a.m. Ideally, you're going to do this on your own and you're going to have a video of of the meditation with me so you can just do it on your own at the time that fits your schedule every day. It's awesome. Sat nam. Sat sat nam. Hey treasure, never heard back from you. Huh? Sat nam.